फ्रेंड नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑन स्ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट इन दिस टॉक आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ स्ट्रेस कॉजेस वेरियस डिजीजेस देयर आर वेरियस मैकेनिज्म बाय विच स्ट्रेस कॉजेस डिजीजेस द फर्स्ट बीइंग इंक्रीज इन फ्री रेडिकल वी नो दैट एट द सेलुलर लेवल देयर इज अ फाइव going on between free radical and antioxidant if the level of free radical increases it leads to diseases stress causes elevated level of cortisol which causes oxidative damage to the cell by increasing free radicals the second mechanism is by decrease in activity of telomerase enzyme telomeres are a protein complex at the end of chromosome which is essential for cellular and genomic stability the length of telomere is directly proportional to our life span decrease in length of telomere predisposes predisposes us to cellular and genomic instability leading to cancers and chronic diseases now telomerase is an enzyme which is present in the peripheral blood mononuclear cell which maintain the stability of telomeres if telomerase concentration decreases it leads to decrease in the length of telomere leading to various diseases and in the research they have found that if a person is having constant and persistent stress there is the concentration of this telomerase enzyme decreases by 40% the third mechanism is by the genes in the research they have found that the person who is under constant stress his bad genes which causes disease get switched on and the good genes which protect and which promotes health are switched off the next mechanism is decrease in immunity we have seen in fight and flight response that the all energy is directed toward fighting with the predator or running away from it and the immune function is compromised so if the immune function decreases for a long period of time it predisposes a person to various infection and cancers the next mechanism is change in gut microflora the gut microflora is called as microbiome it has a protective and health promoting effect on our body and in stress we have seen that the blood supply is increased to the brain heart lung and muscle and the blood supply to the gut is reduced and if the blood supply to the gut is reduced reduced persistently it lead to gut ischemia and lead to leaky gut syndrome change in the microbiome flora and this predisposes a person to various diseases the next mechanism is insulin resistance we all know that due to stress the cortisol in the body increases <coughs> it leads to increase in sugar sugar consequently increases insulin and excess insulin for a long period of time lead to insulin resistance and insulin resistance is underlying cause to various metabolic uh, diseases like diabetes heart attack so with this mechanism stress contributes in causing lot of chronic diseases and cancers what are the diseases caused by stress tell me any disease and i will tell you that stress is one of the contributing factor for that particular disease heart disease high blood pressure stomach problem respiratory problem type 2 diabetes back problem headache migraine obesity arthritis cancers skin problem mental health problem immune system problem child and partner abuse 
suicide, homicide, alcohol and drug use and abuse, tobacco use, violence and aggressive behavior, accident, sleep problem, sexual problem. So these are the diseases which is which are caused by stress. So to summarize in this talk I have discussed various mechanism how stress causes disease and what are the various disorders caused by stress. Thank you for joining this moment on stress management and have a nice day. Thank you.